Hello everyone, this is Navda Soni, Assistant Professor in the Department of Quality Assurance at LG Institute of Pharmacy, Ahmedabad. First of all, I would like to extend my warmest welcome uh, in the beginning of new academic year. As we know that uh, beginning of something is always amazing. Here I am talking about new academic session, new subjects for the final year B farm students. Today, I am going to explain electrophoresis which comes under uh, instrumental methods of analysis which is very interesting subject to you and it will be very beneficial uh, after completion of your study also. So let's start with electrophoresis. First of all, what is electrophoresis? Name itself suggests it's something related to electric field. Okay, so here electrophoresis is the physical method of separation in which ions in the solution separated based on their uh, size and charge when subjected to an electric field. So there's a charged molecule and the smaller and larger molecule get separated with the help of electric field. When electrophoresis uh, occurs, so the process of moving charged molecule in the solution by applying electric field across the mixture. Main two principle, separation based on size and separation based on charge. Separation based on size means as we know that smaller molecule runs faster than the larger molecule but obvious uh, and uh, in the case of charged molecule so oppositely charged molecule gets attracted toward the their opposite uh, oppositely charged electron so let's take example of mice and elephant here you can see the example of mice and elephant in the forest who will run fast but obvious mice runs faster than the elephant in the forest due to its size so smaller molecule runs faster than the larger molecule so according to size small and large molecules will separate it out smaller molecule separates first then then after larger molecule will be separated another that is according to charge when charged molecules are placed in the electric field they migrate towards either to positively charged electrode or negatively charged electrode that means either uh, on either attracted towards anode or cathode here you can see the example of NaCl and solution containing NaCl so Na plus and Cl minus ions are formed Na that means sodium containing positive charge and chloride containing negative charge so sodium attracted to uh, attracted toward the cathode and chloride attracted towards the anode we can say that uh, electrophoresis is the migration of charged molecule under the influence of the electrical external electric field. So migration of particle depends upon the charge to mass ratio that is E by M. So uh, it is the process of migration okay migration of the particle so but obvious there is a two terminology one is mobility and another is migration velocity mobility the rate of movement of ion at unit electric field strength called mobility which is denoted by u and uh, it can be expressed by stokes equation stokes equation is equal is is that means u is equals to q upon 6 pi n r where u is the mobility q is the charge of the particle and that is the viscosity of the medium means uh, the viscosity of the medium medium uh, we are we are providing with 
particular medium in the electrophoresis uh, we will see in the next video and r that is radius of the particle means it's depending upon its size another terminology that is migration velocity the velocity or at which the molecules moves toward the electrode is called as migration velocity so v is equals to u into e where u is equals to mobility means u is the mobility and e is the strength of electric field most important part of electrophoresis that is factors one thing is uh, remaining uh, types of electrophoresis which will uh, see which will see in the next video there is a two type of electrophoresis uh, process one is a free solution electrophoresis and another is zone electrophoresis several factors which affect electrophoresis some are uh, described here first is electrolysis means breakdown of molecule with the help of electric field so electrophoresis is accompanied by electrolysis which causes microscopic bubble to accumulate on the electrode means the bu created bubbles accumulated on the surface of electrode when a bubble is formed the electric con contact with the buffer is lost but obvious when bubble is created so the contact with the buffer and electrode is lost the resistance of the electrode gradually builds up until by closing the bubble becomes large enough to break away from the surface and as a result the contact with the buffer and contact with the buffer is restored means the contact contact between the buffer and electrode is restored this effect of electrolyte can be minimized by the continuous replacement of particular buffer in the electrode chamber but it is a quite tedious process and uh, it is not uh, always possible because of the expense and uh, technical difficulties of the uh, technical difficulties of providing sufficient uh, volume of the buffer in the electrode chambers another factor that is ionic strength what is ionic strength so the activity of coefficient of ionic substances ionic substances means uh, samples containing molecule having charge and so the ionization can be done so the activity coefficient of ionic substances in the solution are influenced by the concentration of the solution okay and by the valency of the ions thus when ph of buffer changes the ionic strength must also change means ph is changed so ultimately ionic strength change uh, remember one thing uh, henderson hasselbach equation earlier in the pharmaceutical analysis one in the b farm semester one uh, there is a one equation that is henderson hasselbach equation ionization equation okay so there ph if p if we are changing ph so ionic strength it, uh, will be changed hence it is necessary to take ph cons ph into the consideration when the ionic strength of buffer is calculated the electrophoretic mobility is approximately proportional to the reciprocal of the square root of ionic strength since mobility increases uh, increases with diminishing ionic strength it is often possible to shorten the time required for electrophoretic process or electrophoretic saturation by making use of dilute buffer if we are using dilute buffer so the uh, separation period will be shortened since conductivity and uh, power consumption is a function of ionic strength and it is desirable uh, to keep the ionic strength low hence the use of buffer with the low ionic strength it's useful in the minimizing uh, the production of heat and the quantity of uh, electrode product formed third that is the ph and other chemical characteristics 
as I said earlier, if we are changing pH, so ultimately ionic strength will be changed. So, so the electrophoresis process is disturbed. The electrophoretic mobility is greatly affected by the pH of buffer. Particularly when the sample is either weak acid or weak base because the pH established is degree of ionization. In case, in case of uh, amphoteric compound like proteins like amino acids having both positive as well as negative charged molecules. So in the case of amphoteric substances like proteins, the direction of migration depends upon the way, whether the buffer pH is above or below isoelectric point. Remember, uh, what remember isoelectric point what is it when molecule behave as positively charged and negatively charged both at time okay so isoelectric point of the sample should be established or so the range of pH should be within that limit so, uh, battery separation can however be achieved using either strongly alkaline or strongly acidic buffers. So the op optimum pH range for the separation uh, of protein that is 8.6 to 9.2. So the for, uh, sorry, sorry, for the battery separation, so pH range should be 8.6 to 9.2. Another that is uh, electroosmosis uh, during the electrophoresis there is a often a flow of water under the influence of the voltage gradient. This is called electroosmosis and the rate of which influenced by the speeds and the concentration of ionic uh, solutes in the water. This process causes a passive uh, displacement of the entire sample with uh, respect to the electrophoretic when the mobility measurement becomes important, it is necessary to make correction for this motion uh, by observing the displacement of the sum unchanged, un, un, unchanged or uncharged solutes. Next is interaction with uh, supporting medium. In the uh, electrophoretic migration is slower in the stabilizing medium than the free solution. As I said earlier, there is a two type of electrophoresis process. One that is a free solution method or free solution technique and another is zone uh, electrophoresis. Uh, These two techniques we will see, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see in the next video. If the supporting medium has ionic side chain, this can interact with the particles being separated by electrophoresis and the ionic side chains are usually undesirable because they produce tailing. Uh, in uh, chromatography, we will see the tailing and fronting. What is tailing and fronting? We will see in the uh, portion of the chromatography. Next major part that is heat. If something is subjected into the electric field, then there must be generation of heat. Okay, so here the unavoidable electrical heating that accompany the process of electrophoresis has number of adverse effect. In the free solution electrophoresis, heat causes convention current. As a result, electrophoretic patterns or the obtained electrophoretic pattern is disrupting or disturbed. Here, heating of the electrophoretic medium has, be, uh, has the following effect. One that is increased rate of diffusion of sample. Uh, we know that uh, in the uh, hot medium, the particles move faster. So, increased rate of diffusion of sample and buffer ions leading to broadening of the uh, separated samples. Not another is a formation of the convention current which leads to the uh, minimizing of uh, sorry which leads to the disruption of particular separated samples. Next is a decrease of buffer viscosity and hence uh, reduction in the resistance of the medium and uh, thermal instability of the sample that are rather sensitive to the heat. Some of the samples 
they are thermolabile so it will be destroyed or it uh, it will be degraded due to its due to productive heat these are the techniques uh, for the uh, electrophoresis major that is paper uh, paper electrophoresis separation occurs on the piece of filter paper that is saturated with electrolyte next is cellulose acetate electrophoresis uh, in which cellulose acetate filter is used uh, gel electrophoresis separation uh, can be done on the agar gels for the immunotechnics like vi and alisa we will see after micro immuno uh, electrophoresis it is the combination of the electrophoretic and the immuno diffusions uh, next that is thin layer electrophoresis which uh, employs thin layer materials like silica gels silica gel f uh, as a electrophoretic medium and uh, cooled platen electrophoresis some of these substances or some of the samples are uh, thermolabile like enzymes proteins some of the amino acids which are thermolabile in nature so uh, cooling platen electrophoresis used next uh, is very important questions so in the gtu examination they can be asked what is electrophoresis and uh, factors affecting or explain factors affecting for uh, on the electrophoresis so these are the several factors which affect the electrophoresis in the next video we will see the techniques of electrophoresis one thing i want to uh, uh, i want to tell that uh, is i am uh, giving a one youtube link it will solve your doubt how electrophoresis process is done so here i am giving a one uh, one animated video uh, sorry the link of that particular animated video please please uh, refer that video also so, so imagination or so the particular concept of electrophoresis is clear thank you thank you for watching me